So here's a quick fact for you. Bryce Young actually had one of the most impressive Heisman seasons out of the last 10 to 15 years, and no one's really talking about it. When you look at what Bryce Young had to deal with, as far as circumstances, I'm not really going with statistics. Bryce Young also had the statistics as well. But when you look at the circumstances, no one had a tougher Heisman campaign over the last 10 to 15 years, maybe besides Cam Newton. Here's the reason why I'm going to say this. Bryce Young, if you look at all the offensive lines graded from the last 10 to 15 years, as far as Heisman Trophy winners, Bryce Young had the second worst offensive line. The first worst, the first uh, you know, team that was worse than Bryce Young's offensive line that we had to deal with was Cam Newton back in 2010. Cam Newton, in my opinion, had the greatest Heisman season of all time, not because he didn't throw for the most yards, he didn't have the most rushing touchdowns and rushing yards, but Cam Newton literally got a five, a four to five win football team and got that team to a national championship. That is, that, that is almost impossible to do now in today's game. The fact that Cam Newton was able to do it, despite him even being an Auburn player, and I'm being, and I'm a Bama fan, it's nothing but kudos. But Bryce Young had to do with similar situations. Now, yes, Al this Alabama 2021 team was way better than that 2010 team. But, but again, when you look at Alabama's uh, team as far as from 2008 all the way to now, you can make an argument that this team was one of the it was the was one of the worst, if not the worst, in the Nick Saban era. Bryce Young did not have the best rushing attack. Bryce Young did not have the best offensive line, and Bryce Young also did not have the best skill position players. Now he did have Jamison Williams and he did have John Mechie. Both those guys had over a thousand yards receiving, so a lot of a lot of credit has to you know definitely have to go for Bryce Young. But when you really have to look at what Mac Jones had to do with, as far as Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle with John Mechie and a prime healthy Jaleel Billingsley, not to mention that he had arguably the best offensive line in Alabama school history, you have to give him some credit. Then you look at Tua Tagovailoa, top five, no, top two offensive line, four first round picks, uh, two first round running backs with another one being Damian Harris. And that is what Tua inherited for the last two to three years, right? So when you look at what Bryce Young had to inherit, he didn't really have the rushing attack as good as those quarterbacks. He didn't really have the skill position players as good as those as good as those players. Maybe the talent is there, but as far as their development and everything else goes, not as there yet. And here's the kicker. The offensive line was actually the worst rated in the Alabama Saban era. When you take a look at the stats, Bryce Young had one of what, what, Bryce Young's offensive line led the country in most and uh led the country um, as far as most pressure uh, as far as SEC goes, they were definitely the most pressure team. They were the most sack team, and they also ranked, I believe, 119th as far as sack as far as sacks allowed. And they and I, and I do believe that they were either dead last or somewhere around that ballpark um, as far as being one of the worst teams in the nation as far as quarterbacks uh, quarterbacks pressure allowed. So there is no question, ladies and gentlemen, that Bryce Young had way much to deal with than a lot of the, of, of the previous Heisman Trophy winners. A and M for the most part with Johnny Menzel. I mean, for the most part, that was a really good team, maybe in a 7-8 win team without Johnny Menzel there, but their offensive line was actually one of the best in the nation. No one really talked about the offensive line the year. It was actually a top-tier offensive line. Uh, you know, when you look at Tim Tebow for 2006, well, can, we can go a little bit farther than that, right? Tim Tebow, you can make an argument, was in that ballpark, but he was not good enough to get that team to a national title. Bryce Young had one of the worst offensive lines in the SEC. Had again, his rushing attacks wasn't really that good. Constant injuries all over the place. Center had to play at right tackle. Then he had to deal with Bill O'Brien and Doug Marone, who, who Alabama had to let go of because Doug Marone really wasn't that good of an offensive line coach. And Bryce Young still was able to get that team to a national championship and playing one of the all-time great defenses. Not once but twice beating one of them and being the only quarterback against that defense to put up close to 500 total yards of offense. Bryce Young had one of the most impressive Heismans of all time, and no one's really going to talk about it because he plays for Darth Sidious, a.k.a. Nick Saban, the GOAT of college football.